Welcome to Toon Boom's Animation Starting Point Courseware video for students. Starting Point Courseware has been designed to teach you the introduction to animation with Harmony Premium and or the introduction to storyboarding with Storyboard Pro. Did you know that Toon Boom creates the world's leading 2D animation software? Studios in over 140 countries worldwide choose Toon Boom products and services to create award-winning feature films, TV series, and video games. Choosing to learn Toon Boom Harmony Premium in Storyboard Pro helps set a solid foundation for a career in animation and storytelling, allowing you to tell your stories in the most creative ways. So let's get started. To access your Starting Point Courseware classes, you should visit www.courseware.toonboom.com. Make sure you're connected to the internet before you try to access the website. To ensure you never forget the web address, why not bookmark Toon Boom Starting Point? My name is Katie Renee Decotre, and I am a Starting Point super user. Today I will walk you through accessing your Starting Point classes, learning the interface of the system, knowing where to go to start each class, seeing your progress throughout the semester, downloading your homework, and more. Here is where you can log into the courseware. Your school has provided us with your email address. If you check your inbox, you will have received an email including your username and password for accessing the courseware. If you ever forget your password, here is a quick reset button right here where you can reset your password yourself. Easy peasy. We recommend you always show up to class 15 minutes early and log into the courseware so that you are on the ball and ready to learn. Because this is so easy to do, you can catch up with your friends before class starts. Let's log in. The first time you log into the platform, you'll be asked to reset your password. Passwords need a minimum of six characters, one uppercase character, one lowercase character, and one number. Your password can be changed at any time by selecting Change Password from the navigation menu on the left. This is the page you'll see the next time you log into the platform after resetting your password, the Starting Point Courseware main landing page. Before we dive into each tab and the different types of content, let's take a minute to do an overview of this page so it's easy to place where you are and where you need to go. Up here in the top right, you can click either one of these icons to log out of the software. Along the side, we have the Courses tab. This is where you go to get to your lessons that you have been registered for. This is the Progress page, which is the page we are on now. It is currently blank because we haven't started our course yet, but once we begin, we'll start seeing information here. Next, we have the Support form. If you have any issues with the platform, you can fill out the Support form to report your issue, and our team will get back to you as soon as they can. The YouTube button will take you to Toon Boom's YouTube channel. You can go right back to this video that you're currently watching, as well as one that your teacher will be watching. Toon Boom adds new content every week, including tips and tricks, interviews with animators, storyboard artists and creators, panel discussions, and more. Be sure to connect with the animation community through all of Toon Boom's social media channels. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, Discord, and more. And lastly, this is where you go back to change your password. You won't be able to change your username, but you can change your password on this page at any time. The Courses tab is where you will be spending the bulk of your time during your starting point experience. Let's click here. Now as a super user, I can see two courses here. You may only see one of them. Either Introduction to Animation and Toon Boom Harmony, or Introduction to Storyboarding and Storyboard Pro. It depends what your class is currently enrolled in. Here at the bottom, you can view how many lessons there are in each course. So let's continue into the Harmony course and take a look. Here you can see the introduction page to our Toon Boom Harmony course. We recommend you log in 15 minutes before class starts, so if you have any issues with your login or software, you'll have plenty of time to calmly reset your passwords and troubleshoot your problems before your teacher begins. We recommend that you always keep a sketchbook and notebook next to you to take notes or quickly sketch out ideas for your work as you progress through the course. Be sure to date your entries so they're easier to find later. Good animation and storytelling is all about planning ahead of time, so start early with your notes. When preparing for your lessons, create a folder in your Documents folder on your computer. You will be downloading a lot of different files for these courses, so it's good to stay organized from the start. Make sure you save your work often. That will be Command-S on iOS and Control-S on Windows. Make sure to always back up your work often onto a USB or cloud drive. Always copy and paste your work into your backups. Never cut and paste. That said, 
Avoid directly working from a USB device, as accidents can happen. If it disconnects while you're working, you might lose all of your hard work. Let's take a look at the lessons in the Harmony course. If I scroll down here, this user has a little bit more progress than our last one. On the right side of the page, we'll see our progression dial. Below it, we'll see a summary of the lessons we've completed so far and which ones we've started. This makes it easy to pick up where you left off on your animation journey. We highly recommend following along at the same speed as your teacher, as they'll be checking in on your progress periodically. Take your time and make sure you fully absorb the information. There's a lot to learn. Here on the left side, you can see the titles of each lesson. Allow me to let you in on a little secret. By the end of Lesson 3, you'll have made your first animation. Now I left off at Lesson 5, so let's see what that's all about. This lesson is very fun. This teaches you what each of the tools in Harmony do and how to use them. You would begin by downloading the lesson files here on the right. There's a Harmony file here that you'll use for the lesson, as well as a handout to take a look at. Opening it here in my browser, it explains the differences between bitmaps and vectors. This will be important for understanding the Harmony toolset. Make sure you download these as soon as the lesson begins so you can start right away. Below the lesson files, you'll see the lesson links. These give you even more information on the topics presented in the lesson. Now let's scroll down to this slideshow here and see what it has to offer. Clicking on the blue information buttons will tell you more about what's on each slide. We did it! Harmony has so many tools to learn, it's a good thing that you're learning from the source here with us. Each slide in this presentation will elaborate on all of the different tools and how they work and what their properties are. Here we have the properties of the brush and pencil tool and this fun card that we can spend to give us information on how this works. Here I can go to each of the different properties using my card arrow keys here and learn what each of these are for and how they interact with the software. Words not enough? How about some video presentations too? This one takes us through the brush tool and we see in real time how it works. Then you'll have a chance to give it a try yourself with the Drawing Tools activity file. There's a lot of ground to cover here. At the end of the presentation, you'll be given a task for something that you're going to submit to your teacher. In this case, it's about tool presets. Make sure you do the self-assessment at the end of the slideshow. When you're done your work, you'll submit both things to your teacher and click off the True options here. Now it's time to test your knowledge. Every five lessons or so, there'll be a quiz on the previous lessons up to the last quiz that you did. On this one, you'll be quizzed on everything from lessons one to five. The next one on lesson 10 will only cover materials from lessons six to 10. The quizzes will all be multiple choice questions on the material you've seen so far. So be sure to read the questions carefully. Now, how about a peek at one of the more advanced lessons so you can get a more complete idea of what to expect? This lesson is all about color palettes. Harmony colors are so versatile. They're so easy to change on the fly, as you'll learn here. This one starts with a video tutorial on the subject. A lot of lessons start this way. You'll see a demonstration of what the lesson is asking of you before you need to try anything on your own. You're never going in blind on your animation journey with us. Here's a quick tip. You'll see a lot of shortcuts written in the lessons. Write down the ones you use most often. It'll help speed up your whole workflow to start taking note of them early on. Within the software, try hovering over a tool you like. You'll see a small tooltip that'll display the shortcut within. The transform tool, can be accessed using Shift T. Now, back to colors. This lesson involves swapping a character's entire color palette. Check this out. I can see what it's supposed to look like once I follow the instructions from the lesson above. In Harmony, you can swap the whole look of this character around with a single button. So easy. 
Hopefully at this point, you've gotten a good idea of what to expect from your courseware. We wish you success on your animation journey, and we are here to support you every step of the way. Thank <laughs> you.